over these past 12 weeks, I have done more in that period of time than I've ever done in one whole year. 12 weeks ago, I went to Berlin with the book The 12 Week Year with the full intention of taking action and control for the goals in my life. Now, I have spent the last 12 weeks vlogging this entire experience. My ups, my downs, and everything in between. And I am here to share all of the tea over the past three months and what exactly I plan on doing moving forward. So before we get started, let's do a little recap of The 12 Week Year by Brian P. Morgan and Michelle Lennington. This is a book with the objective of shifting goal setting from annual to a 12 week cycle in order to increase focus and productivity. They emphasize the focus for a clear, specific vision for your goals and through repetition, instilling new habits and mindsets. The focus here is on small daily or weekly actions, which makes everything seem more manageable when it comes to our goals. They lean into self accountability in which we track all of our goals and the tactics that we set for them. The goal in the book is to strive for excellence, not perfection, basically aiming for high standards, but not getting obsessed with perfection along the way. Now we take those goals and we turn them into weekly tactics and those tactics are actionable with deadlines. So 12 weeks ago, after I did all the vision work, I came up with my three goals and three tactics for each of the goals. So the first goal was to become monetized on YouTube. Shocker, it hasn't happened yet, but that's okay. And in order to work towards that goal, the first tactic was posting a vlog weekly about this 12 week year challenge. The second was posting a second long form content video. And the third was posting five shorts every week. The second one was around building healthier habits. And the tactics were work out three times a week, hit the sauna for 20 minutes and score myself from zero to 10 on my eating habits that week. And thirdly, I wanted to publish a website and create an offer through setting up a newsletter funnel, publishing a website and creating an offer. Now, if you've been following along, you would notice that one of those kind of fell to the wayside, but that's okay. I will get to that in my lessons learned. So in order to track this, I did use a notion template. I'll drop that in the description below in case you want to use it yourself. So coming back to my goals, my focus was to hit my tactics every week and score them. Let's take a look at my results week by week. Oh my God, I can't take it anymore. Before we dive into my scores, I'm just going to close the sun because it's insanely bright today. No complaints, but it's a bit much for me and I think I'm sweating. Oh, okay, that's much better. A little darker, but I'm cooler. All right, week one, we kicked things off with a 90%. Followed up by week two, which was actually my lowest week yet at 63%. Week three, 88%. Week four, 65%. This is where I started to notice the roller coaster vibes, if you will. Week five, we shot up to 92%. Week six was 80. Week seven was my best week of the entire experience at 93%. Week eight, 78%, week nine, 81%, week 10 was 70%, week 11 was 77. And finally, this past week, week 12, I scored an 80%. Now, after doing all the calculations, that means my average over the entire 12 weeks is that I completed 80% of all my tactics. And I must say, I'm blown away by that. I'm so happy because I actually did a little bit more math just to see exactly where I was at. That means I posted 16 long form content videos here on YouTube. I uploaded 60 shorts in the last three months. I've gone to the gym more than 36 times. I've spent more than four hours in the sauna. And I'd like to think that I am making a little bit better of eating habits. I also set up my newsletter funnel. Now, of course, the competitive side in me is like, oh, well, you actually wanted to post 24 videos, not 16. However, it's 16 more than I posted last year, and I did set this goal for myself last year. I did have this idea of joining YouTube last year, but I posted nothing. So now I need to get a little bit critical because there is one goal that I did not hit at all. I wanted to publish a website and create an offer. Part of that goal, one of the tactics, was actually to create my newsletter funnel, which I did. However, I did not publish my website and I, I got close, but I didn't publish it and I didn't even create any kind of offer. About halfway through this challenge, I started to have the realization that I'm just not there yet. I still work a full-time job. I still side hustle at my parents' company. So I just didn't have the time to go all the way into it because whatever I do create and the website that I do publish, I want to be obsessed with it. These last three months, I've really enjoyed YouTube. So I leaned into that. And that's what I'm enjoying right now. I know that I will publish my website and I know that I will create an offer, 
but I just want to do that when I'm more clear on what I want to provide as a creator because I'm just not sure what I can bring to the table yet that's going to provide value. I'm okay with that and I've accepted that. So I have five lessons learned that I want to share about the 12 week year challenge that I feel could help anybody looking to do it. First thing is just be sure to have that good balance of quantity versus quality. I don't think I needed to push and do two videos a week. I know that I can edit videos and I know that I have certain capabilities in that that helps maybe more than the average person starting a channel. However, I'm happy I pushed myself, but I realized that two videos a week is just not feasible in my life right now in any way. But I'm happy that four out of those 12 weeks, I definitely made that happen. The second lesson learned that I'm definitely taking with me through is that setting up weekly tactics is so key for success. This is absolutely something I'm taking forward with me 100%. And looking at them like tactics over mini goals, honestly, for me, it's just a mindset shift. It's like, this is what I'm going to do. These little things that I'm doing every week are going to lead to my goal. Not setting a goal of this to what end. It's these are the tactics to get to my big goal. The third lesson learned for me is pushing execution is a game changer. It's simple as that. It's getting stuff done, pushing the execution of tactics or tasks first above everything. doesn't mean that you're putting up bad quality. It doesn't mean that you're doing anything that's not good. It doesn't mean that you're not going to do anything of good quality. It just means that you're putting execution above everything else and getting yourself into the habit of doing the things that you want to be doing. Because sometimes you need that little push. The fourth lesson learned is I actually decided to make my weeks more flexible. I did have days of the week that I wanted to post long format content. I did give myself a little bit of a penalty if I didn't reach it. However, I would say that you want to make your tactics things that can be done Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday. Just because then you give yourself a little bit of freedom and you're not like, oh, I missed Monday's thing, Monday's over. It's just a mental thing. It's like, these are my tactics for the week and I just have to complete them by the end of the week, whether it be Monday or Friday. And remember, never let your commitments waver. So if you do wait till Friday, you might have to pay for it on Saturday. And the final lesson learned is I realized that me taking my Sundays completely off was necessary. When you're pushing yourself hard, executing, doing things in the way that I am, like personally me, working a full-time job and working for my dad's company on the side, as well as doing all of this, I needed that one day a week where I just had a break. So for me, that was Sundays. I learned that really quick up front. I realized that by me taking all of Sunday away from my computer, away from work, it really set me up for a good Monday, which set me up for the rest of the week. Now, if anybody is looking to dive in and go pick up a copy of the 12 week year right now, I'm gonna give you two quick tips that I really think are so necessary to do this challenge. The first tip is simple. Be accountable to yourself is a huge thing in this book, but I also found it so helpful to be accountable to others as well. So share what you are working on with other people, whether that be posting it on social media, vlogging it like I was, or just sharing it with a close group circle of friends and having that accountability of saying, here's my score for the week. People are amazing. They will encourage you. I have had so much encouragement throughout this. And I have friends that are watching and like, oh good, like good for you. Things seem to be going well. That type of positive encouragement keeps you going. And I'm not saying you need to lean on other people for accountability. I'm a big person who believes and you need to be accountable to yourself. However, take it to the next level and open your doors a little bit and share what you're doing. And the second tip is be kind to yourself. I did not hit 100% at any point, at any point. And honestly, I feel like if you're hitting 100% every single week, then maybe you didn't challenge yourself enough. That's just how I feel. So be accountable and be kind to yourself. I decided to close this chapter of the 12 week year by actually giving my book away, which is why I don't have it with me right now. I actually decided to give this book to somebody that is looking to start a new chapter in their life. I actually gave them my physical book with all of my notes and all of my green markings everywhere because I really felt like by doing that, I was fully closing the chapter on this for me. Now, that doesn't mean I'm not taking a lot of these lessons learned into the next, and this does not mean it's my last 12 week year. I think this is an amazing reset tool that anybody can use to reshift, refocus on their goals and their vision. So now what? What am I doing next? I am taking those weekly tactics with me. I am past the 12 weeks now and I'm still every week writing down, okay, Emma, what is the goal this week? 
And what are you gonna do every day in order to reach that? So I mark them down in my agenda, like little check boxes. And so far it's working great. Obviously I will not be vlogging my 12 weeks anymore because the 12 weeks is over. So I've decided I'm going to have some fun with my content and really explore what I want to do next in this world of YouTube. I'm gonna experiment a bit and really try to figure out what lights me up as a creator. So with that, subscribe and see you next week.